with the headlines being dominated by COVID-19 and warmer weather on the way here across Canada. The big question is, are we going to see the dwindling seasonal effects similar to what you would see with influenza? Well, we asked an infectious disease expert that very question. Will this disease start to taper off when the temperatures get warmer? I don't think the same rules for seasonality necessarily apply in the context of an epidemic. As we enter the warm season, conventional thinking is that viruses and illness, they tend to hit a lull. But in recent history has proven otherwise. 2009, we had a big H1N1 pandemic. And, you know, that's an H1N1. That's an influenza virus. That's supposed to be a winter virus. But that exploded in the summer. With the majority of the cases being reported in the northern hemisphere during the winter season, there's still much uncertainty as to whether the cases will start to shift into the southern hemisphere as they enter their winter. Some people think it'll burn out in, in, the, uh, in the summer months. Other people think, you know, there's no chance for that happening as long as there's uh, transmission going on. But sadly, this is a bit of a wait and see approach. And really what we need to do is prepare for the scenario where, you know, weather does not it affect the epidemic. There may be a time where the seasons may come into play, but not this early in COVID-19's existence. If this virus sticks around after this epidemic, temperature may come into play if we see some component of seasonality. So where does that leave us after this initial spreading period? It comes down to three scenarios. Is this just going to peter out and die out? Or is this going to just have very low levels of transmission year round? Or is, is this going to come back in the uh, cooler months, in, in the wintertime, and much like we see uh, seasonal influenza? With the seasonal uncertainty, the experts do agree that social distancing measures, such as avoiding large gatherings, shaking hands, and self-isolating if you feel unwell, are likely to be the best defense to slow the virus, which may actually be more beneficial to the health care system and to hospitals. This might actually prolong the epidemic, but what it will do is it will blunt the peak of the epidemic and it'll just make it a, a more flattened curve, which is actually a good thing.